Hey, this is Carl Franklin from Plop Studios. Uh, Doug Wolverton and I spent the day testing out different mixers to use with Whole World Band. If you're going to record videos, uh, you got to have something a little more substantial than you think uh, because you want to be monitoring yourself and the existing track from a mixer, not from the iPad or iPad Mini. So here's what we came up with. We found an Allen & Heath Z10FX mixer at Guitar Center for $299, uh, and it's got USB, and it's got effects. So here are the connections. Have your USB connector with a cable going directly into the mixer right there. There's our USB input and output. Now we have an 8-inch jack going out of the headphones and with a special cable that splits to two quarter inch jacks and those go into the playback in left and right and in this board when you have these playback ins here that bypasses the uh, input from the USB. USB is both input and output remember. Okay now we have our microphones. You can have four microphones in there. You have phantom power if you need it. This is just an SM57 that we tested with, so you don't, we don't need that there. All right, so, you know, you have your standard EQ and all of that, and you have effects sends and auxiliary sends and panning. Here's the important thing. Press the record button at the bottom of the channel. That sends this channel to the record bus. All right, make sure listen is not on. The record bus is actually what is going to be sent out to the USB. And you can see right there, record bus is pushed down. Auxiliary effects is not. Now, here's the effects section right here. Pick your effects that you want. We're not using the auxiliary sands here. But the effects level should be up however much you want. Also, the record button should be pressed down, not the listen button. Listen buttons should all be up. For that matter, you want all the volumes down on all the channels that you are not recording and all the record buttons up on all the channels you're not recording. Now. The playback level you can mess with, but if you have it all the way up, you should be able to hear everything just fine. We found that we had to strain to hear that. We had to turn that up a little bit, but you can adjust that. That's from, you know, from the input. Main mix does not control the record level. That just rec uh, controls what you hear. So this drives your headphones. Your headphone output is right here. All of these three guys should be up. Record, aux, and playback. If you want to single out any of those, then you can uh, press those down. Okay, so that your headphone jack right here, we just have a splitter so we can both listen at the same time. Obviously, if you got a couple musicians, um, you want both people to be listening at the same time. But if you want to spend a little more money, you have something like this, this uh, Behringer uh, four-channel stereo headphone amplifier, four outputs, an input. So that is about it. Um, and again, we spent a lot of time with this, didn't we, Doug? Yes, we did. Yeah. This seems to be the sweet spot right here. Best bang for the buck currently today. So go have fun. Wholeworldband.com.